Density is Sahara's proposal for an adaptive model of urbanism demonstrated in Ras al Khaimah, which is one of the seven emirates of the UAE. The research presented here was developed between October 2007 and January 2009 at the Design Research Lab, a Masters of Architecture and Urbanism program at the Architectural Association. It is one of the projects developed under the third and final phase of the parametric urbanism agenda. The research addresses the brief of State Space Studio under co-tutor and co-director Tom Burbis. Russell Kema is one of the most appropriate testing grounds for State Space Studio's brief of addressing the urbanism in an evolving city with an indeterminate economic and cultural environment. Russell Kema is sandwiched between the Persian Gulf to its west and the Rocky Mountains to its east. It is a lesser known emirate of the UAE north of the more popular Dubai and Abu Dhabi and it lacks a prevailing character, image or economic driver. The city mostly resembles an urban sprawl with occasional malls and mid-rise office complexes. Some of the most significant projects currently planned in Ras al Khaimah include OMA's RAK Gateway, a 2 square kilometer sustainable city, a commercial complex by Snowheda and a mountain resort by OMA. This project looks at the evolution of Dubai to understand the dynamics that shaped the growth of a metropolitan city in the UAE. Dubai has been a popular tourist destination for the better half of the last decade and has also become an important business destination in recent years due to its tax-free zones and geographically central location between European and Asian markets. Dubai's growth to a metropolitan status has occurred mostly within the last 10 years which makes it very difficult for planning systems to prevail over and guide the breakneck pace of change and growth. For this reason, planners and urban designers have often labeled Dubai as collage-like, incoherent and patchy. This project is a critique of conventional methods of urban design and master planning that are incapable of coping with rapid large-scale urbanization as seen in the case of Dubai. It researches new interactive systems of master planning and urban design that are capable of responding to multiple scenarios simultaneously producing multiple state spaces for the urban zone in consideration. This project looks at the changing economic drivers of Dubai and Abu Dhabi in order to determine these scenarios for Ras al Khaimah. Before the discovery of oil, Dubai was primarily a trade port for vessels traveling to and from Asian markets. During the late 70s and throughout the 80s, Dubai was mostly an oil producer which led to the formation of the road networks and refineries. This shifted to commercial retail during the 90s as Dubai became known for its vast and cheap markets of gold and other commodities being a trade port. The shoppers gradually became tourists as Dubai capitalized on its vast coastlines and scenic deserts. Abu Dhabi is the largest emirate in the UAE and also the capital. It was the first emirate in the UAE to export oil. This was followed by developing business opportunities and attracting foreign capital with tax exemptions. Today, it is the most desirable city for residents in the UAE, owing largely to good planning and urban design. Depending on a large number of factors including global economic trends and Russell Khaimah's financial performance, it could either become a business district by luring the vice prospective customers with far lower real estate costs, or it could build its own set of retail malls and duty-free zones to attempt to replicate the success of Dubai as a tourist destination. As of the present global economic collapse, Russell Khaimah could even establish itself as a residential satellite town feeding Dubai and other developing metropolitans owing to its low property rentals. Each of these scenarios have widely different implications on the urbanism that they lead to. The business district will have high-rise development concentrated on major roads. It will lead to high volumes of intracity movement, making public transportation highly significant and pedestrianization significantly important. The tourist destination will have a mix of mid-rise hotels and malls along with low-rise resort-like developments along the coastline and waterfronts, and this scenario would lay significant weightage in public transportation as well due to heavy intracity movement. The satellite scenario will be low or mid-rise urban sprawl with heavy intracity movement implying high vehicle ownership and thereby wider roads and more parking spaces. This scenario will have the least emphasis on public transportation or pedestrianization. All of the cities in UAE are coastal cities, which makes them very linearly stretched in one direction and only a few kilometers deep in the other. The urban area of Ras al Khaimah is 30 kilometers long along the coast and only 4 kilometers wide in the other direction. The site is selected just north of the estuary, stretching across the entire width of the city. As it is located in the heart of the city, it gives the opportunity to demonstrate the urbanism in three varying geographical conditions, the coastline, the desert edge and the estuary edge. 
The site is presently very scarcely populated by a few plotted residential developments leaving major stretches of land for future developments. A proximity based analysis is done on the site based on parameters like major road intersections, pedestrian walkability, optimized locations for transport nodes, waterfront, existing development, and road network. These values are sampled on a point grid across the site by a system of urban programmatic distribution and zoning. The system is controlled by a graphical user interface representing the three scenarios as a triangle and the position of the user control point inside the triangle determines the blend between the three scenarios. As the user moves the point in the interface, the system adjusts programmatic distribution values in real time, accentuating or dimming down the significance of the geographical proximity values sampled. The system also manipulates the coastline, maximizing it or leaving it untouched depending on the scenario. There are sliders to control growth or proliferation which can be linked to the financial health of the city where an economic collapse would mean minimal proliferation. The second slider changes the output of the system in terms of the map type, which can change from programmatic distribution to FAR and flow plate areas to programmatic mixity or connectivity. The connectivity map identifies transportation nodes based on walkability zones and also produces localized street patterns within these zones. Each one of these maps remains directly linked with the scenario interface, so they change in real time as the scenario changes. This system gives the possibility of controlling the entire urbanism through an interactive system that can be directly linked with the market economy and its financial trends. These maps are linked with families of generic urban massing typologies common in contemporary cities. Each produces a different spatial or formal character when distributed across an urban field with morphological variation of FAR and open space. Some are designed to formally resemble existing sprawl-like development. Some are designed to minimize surface area in the hot desert climate or form large continuous open spaces while others fragment them. Some others work very well with long linear streets. Some can produce very high density or work well within a hexagonal grid or produce perimeter blocks with courtyard-like spaces. All of these typologies are designed to seamlessly morph from one state into another in all states of density or open space. When linked to the system of urban zoning and programmatic distribution, they are capable of producing entire cityscapes only by adjusting values in the triangular interface. The tourism scenario maximizes the coastline and places most of the significant development next to a waterfront. The business district scenario gives an equal importance to road networks and coastline and produces high-rise, high-density development where it finds an optimal combination of both of these parameters the satellite town scenario assumes most development to be lower or middle income residential in nature and therefore places them away from the coast and closer to the road networks and desert leaving the premium land for future development as is the present state of the city. The intermediate state blends between the scenarios determines the influence of each and respectively tunes the formal variation as well as the urban parametrics like FAR and open space structure of the development. The system produces entirely different cityscapes for the three extreme scenarios and blends between them when an intermediate value is chosen. The resulting urbanism ranges from extremely dense high-rise megastructure-like developments to low-rise high-density developments or a mix of both or low-rise low-density urban sprawl. 